Hey guys, it's Matt Miller with American Wire, and it looks like Gavin Newsom is going to be the Democrats' top pick to replace Biden after his dementia performance on the debate stage. But watch Gavin Newsom panic live on air when Adam Carolla confronts him about his shameless racial pandering. Watch it right here. Hey, but think about don't Adam. Have the half, kids. half of African Americans in the state of California, roughly half of Latino families, have no access to a checking account or an ATM. Things we take for granted. They don't have a check. What's cash. wrong with them? And what? But what? Well, because they don't. They don't have the resources to sock those things away. Well, why do we have them? Uh, a lot of different reasons. But but roughly half those families don't. And whether they why do up, Armenians have them? But where they end up is why? in check cashing places. But I want to know why those lenders, groups. Why advantage. those two groups don't have access? Well, there are a lot of. It, just happens to be that we can so talk they're about flawed? This. no they're hardly flawed but they're struggling genetics are making flawed. their word hardly not ab absolutely but okay not. so but absolutely do asians not. have this problem i mean in, in a lot of communities have a lot of whites have these problems oh, but so I just, that's not just black and hispanic no but it but, but i'm why giving you bring you up black and hispanic because the magnitude is ominous but why so many of them it just happens to be the just magnitude. that's the way god planned it not at all well it what just, happened to them there are a lot of issues and with it, that the communities are struggling a lot why of new are they immigrants struggling? a lot of a lot of different reasons. Lack Hispanics of opportunity. Have been here. Blacks have been here longer than we've been here. Well, we we can we can surmise. Well, what all about that, Asians? All the, they were put in internment camps. Yeah, we in fact it all initiated at San Francisco. And all right. The Chinese Exclusion Act came so out. So they are they the check cash? Are they the check cash? A lot of a lot of Asians certainly do. Oh, so why don't you why don't you include them? The only reason why is the magnitude. Of there's the so problem, many more. The magnitude and percentage. But there's terms no way to figure out how that happened. Of Africa. We could talk about it. You know what I'm dealing with? I don't want to have a sociological debate. Uh, sure, why would with you? Have, no. no, here's why. Why would you want to do that? Because the person from the Times wouldn't write good things about oh, you if God. you did that. No, no, that's not the case because I you want to deal want with to reality. You don't want to get into that. No, no, uh, no. You want to deal with reality. I want to I deal with the reality, reality of people is. that are struggling, people are suffering. I want to deal with the problems in why a pragmatic Why are they way. struggling I don't and suffering? Want to deal. We can hold hands and surmise about all these underlying why are they, reasons. I don't want to do that. I want to know why they're struggling. Why are they struggling? A lot of folks are struggling because they can't find jobs. Why blacks and Hispanics? Why blacks and Hispanics? Across the board. Why? Okay, so everybody everybody's everybody struggling. So uh, Asians are suffering uh, just as much as blacks. Um, the, the, the face of welfare is not an African American family. Oh, so, so, it's so it's Asian, a, Jewish, it's all of them. Uh, Caucasian, it's okay, a lot so of folks. We're all in struggling. Society. A lot of folks are struggling. Okay. So we hear Gavin Newsom say that half of blacks and Latinos in California don't have access to a bank account. And while this is sort of true, it's because the people he's referencing are in poverty not because they're black or Latinos. And, um, and this is a really, really important distinction. And ultimately, this is what Adam Carolla is driving at is he's in these questioning. Why are you saying blacks and Latinos? Why those groups? Because, you know, why are those groups especially and specifically afflicted by this issue? And Gavin Newsom flounders here, right? He tries to, you know, pay the lip service and the pandering BS that we know the Democrats are so good at. And say, well, oh, it's 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 their problem, and it's those communities are um, you know underserved, and they need to be paid attention to, and this and that. When really this is not a racial problem at all. It doesn't pertain to race. It pertains to people who are in poverty, and black people. There are black people in poverty. There are Hispanics in poverty. There are white people in poverty. There are Asians in poverty. So, to try to put a racial component in here is false. And it would only be done by somebody who is being intellectually dishonest and actively trying to stir up racial uh, anger, racial division. And they're trying to facilitate divisiveness in their rhetoric so that uh, blacks and Latinos feel like they're being uh, ripped off or they're being especially targeted by banks, I guess, or, or white people, white banks. Um, and that they're being discriminated against in this sense. And, and it's a very, it, it's carefully chosen words. The Democrats and people, especially like Gavin Newsom, who are just total snakes and they're total experts at this divisive um, left-wing rhetoric, they, they pick their words carefully and they're trying to do this. They're trying to make America destabilized and, and turn against each other. They're trying to turn whites and blacks and Hispanics all against each other, so we all hate each other. And he's going to paint himself as the hero here to save those communities. And that's what the Democrat playbook is. And that's what it's been for the last 50 years. I'd even go so far back as to say that this is stemming from Marxism. Karl Marx predicted that in the 20th century, the proletariat was going to rise up against the bourgeoisie, the rich people, 
and take power from them and create a communist utopia across the world. That didn't really pan out. It happened sort of in Russia and some other places. And of course, it wasn't a utopia. It was like a disaster, the USSR. And um, the neo-communists now, more recently in the last, um, well, I would say since the, the civil rights movement and and up to the intersectional movement now and the feminist and the um, the gender Taliban, as, as some people call it, the, the modern leftist, they recognized that the class warfare that Marx talk, talked about did not pan out and didn't go as planned. So now they're trying to pit different demographics against each other, whites, blacks, along racial lines, gender, men and women, turning men and women against each other, and even uh, different um, sexual orientations, the LGBT movement. They're trying to turn America inside out so we all hate each other and that their agenda can prevail and that people like Gavin Newsom and other far left operatives can uh, can take power. So, I mean, if it sounds like a conspiracy theory, it's not look into uh, the critical theory, look into the Frankfurt School, look into the history of leftism in academia and leftism in American politics, and you'll find some pretty dark stuff. Very interesting, though. Um, but anyway, getting back to Gavin Newsom, I think, you know, it's, it looks like right now, at least, that the Democrats are going to try to swap him in for uh, Joe Biden after the horrific, catastrophic debate performance that we saw. The guy is totally cooked. He's um, he's he's a demented old man. Everybody knows that. So Gavin Newsom might be the alternate. I think it's important to see this guy in this light where he's getting grilled live by Adam Carolla and watch this guy for who he is, right? He's a total snake. He's a race pandering liar and uh, he's just trying to divide America. So anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this clip in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.